7 Action News starts right now with a breaking news alert. We begin with that breaking news from Inkster, where two people have been injured in a house explosion. Thank you so much for joining us today at noon. I'm Keenan Smith. Crews from multiple fire departments responding to a blast on Penn Street this morning. One of the victims was severely burned. The other, we're told, is a DTE worker who was in the area. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney joins us live now from Inkster with the very latest and how neighbors are responding. Whitney. Hey, good afternoon, Keenan. As you said, we are here on Penn Street. This is a very active scene here behind me. You can see fire crews are still here on the scene. I'm going to step out of the way so our viewers can get a look at the damage. You can see that home is severely charred. There's not much left, mostly just a frame, but this is what's left. You can see things are all out in the yard from that very, very strong boom this morning. Now, this happened around 10 o'clock this morning. The Inkster fire chief says one man was in the house at the time of the explosion. Uh, the victim did make it out of the house before fire crews arrived. He has since been taken to the hospital and is in critical condition. Neighbors are concerned um, as they're standing out here about what could have possibly caused this. That neighbor that was inside of the home did have third degree burns, we're told. Fire crews say uh, DTE workers were also in the area and one of them suffered some minor injuries. I believe the fire chief said something like smoke inhalation. A neighbor that we did speak with earlier said he was riding his bike past this area when that impact hit him. Uh, those neighbors are all congregating here trying to figure out exactly what happened and caused this explosion here. Neighbors did tell us that DTE crews were here working about an hour before this explosion happened. DTE and fire crews are now investigating exactly what caused the explosion. We're still working to learn those details, but we'll be sure to bring them to you live on air and online at WXYZ.com. For now, live here in Inkster, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Whitney, for that live report.